What's up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now this video in our series of what resources that I use for various medical school classes, today we'll be talking about biochemistry, one of the most hated classes in medical school. And the reason is that, you know, when you, what, you know, usually you take biochemistry in the first year and, you know, you just finish college and then you take biochem and you're like, man, this feels like the fifth year of college. I'm studying biochem again. This is horrible. What about medicine? What about surgery? What about disease? What is this? Yeah, get over it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I, I, everyone feels that way. It's like we're studying biochem again. We're in medical school. What about medicines and all this kind of cool stuff? Yeah, you got you got to learn new biochem. And if you already knew it, well, now you're gonna learn it again. So what? Okay, so biochem was the very first class that uh, I took at my school, and they kind of isolated a little bit in the beginning. So all you do is biochem for a couple weeks, and then they tack on everything else and make you drowned. But in the beginning, they just kind of give you that just to kind of get your feet wet and get you used to the fact that you know, oh, I'm learning in medical school, and it's just like anything else, uh, nothing special. So don't freak out. But um, I made a huge mistake in medical school during the first during biochem in the first few weeks because I had no idea what I was doing. There was no video like this to tell me what to do and hopefully if you've been watching other videos the theme is clear that the very first thing you do overall strategy is learn your lecture notes learn the core notes uh, because you're gonna have to pass your school tests and do hopefully great on them and the professors are gonna take questions from their material they're not gonna find some random textbook and take you questions from that that's not that's never gonna happen um, they're gonna give you questions from their lecture slides from their core notes from what they say in class whatever um, so, what mistake did I make? If you looked at all the videos thus far, I always say, buy one review book that you like, that you've heard good things about, buy it, try it out, see if you like it, and stick with it. Use it throughout the year, and then when it comes time for, say, a final exam, a shelf, or um, step one, or whatever, you have that resource that's, you know, a board review book, so it's purely high-yield material as your reference. Well, I didn't know to do that in the very beginning of medical school. I learned it about a month or so in. But in the very beginning, when I just had biochem, I had no idea, and I didn't use a review book, and I hate myself for doing that. I'm kidding. But, I mean, it's it's not a good feeling. So what did I do? So best review book that I found was, uh, so if you've noticed, the other videos have been uh, BRS books. This one is, what is it, Rapid Review Biochem by uh, Golion and Pelly. Why do I put Golion's name first? Because Golion is the king of path. When you watch the video on how I studied for path, uh, you'll get the point. But Golion is king. He is so good when it comes to path, and he worked with Pelly on getting this biochem book. Now, biochem textbooks. From undergrad, I have mine. It's this big. From There's like a medical school version, lip and count, but yay big. How big is this book? I know, it's tiny, right? What the hell is this? This can't be all the biochem you need to know. But my text, you know what? Here, I'll just get it for you. Hold on. Okay, I still have this. This is the biochem textbook uh, that I used in undergrad. Uh, look how big it is. Okay, do, do, let's, do, let's do some shoulder comparisons, all right? Uh, right? Tiny and you know, tiny and huge, right? So, did I actually read this in undergrad? Yeah, because I had time and we had to. Uh, and it's undergrad, they make you suffer for no reason. I'm kidding. Um, but seriously, this is a book I read for undergrad. Look how big that is. I saw some of my classmates walking around with lip. This is, who is this? I forgot. This is Nelson and Con. Oh, Lehendra's bio okay, Lehendra. Okay. Classic biochem book. Everyone respects this book. It's like a stable. But, okay, so why did I have this book already here? Did I plan that? No, I didn't. I just kept my books from undergrad because I thought, oh, I'll definitely use these in medical school. Um, no, no, no. Moron. What was I thinking? You know, I have no time to read this in medical school. That's crazy. And there's so much low-yield material and details and science-y stuff and boring things that I used to think were cool now that I think are just exhausting to read. Uh, I mean, there's so much minutia in this that it's amazing. I mean, it's fun if you like the biochem. You have the time. But the reality is you don't have that much time. And the material in here, it's fun for, like, basic science research. It's fun for studying pure biochem. Can. But in the context of medical school, it's just no one really seems to emphasize it, and it's not it never really comes up, unfortunately. So I, a person who really liked biochem in undergrad, um, got a very different taste of it in medical school because it's clinically oriented. So a lot of what I read in here never came up. So did I use this in call in medical school? No. Did I ever look at it? No. Did it just collect dust on the shelf? Yes. Um, is it was it an expensive book to buy? Yes. <laughs> but you know you had to buy it for undergrad. 
So I saw some of my classmates reading this, and hopefully you get the point from these videos. There's a ton of low yield info in here, in addition to the high yield. This book, this little thing, they distilled out all the high yield. What are you gonna do? You're gonna you're gonna read through this first first step one again. Come on. Um, so I did not use this during. Um, so what did I do? So for my actual uh, medical school course, I relied just strictly on the lecture notes and core notes. Um, because I had taken biochem before, and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll be fine. Um, but I didn't know at the time that I need to use a review book. It took me about a month or two to, so to figure that out. So the best one I found so far was uh, Rapid Review uh, Biochem. Uh, if you wanted a link to this, just look, go down there. It's in Amazon. I got this off Amazon. I buy everything off Amazon because I'm cheap. Um, but it's a good deal. It's like cheaper than ever. I don't know how Amazon gets these deals. Uh, it's kind of like mysterious, right? <laughs> it's like, how do they get these deals? You know, if you go to like, the bookstore, it costs more. If you go to... Uh, well, I don't know if there's any Barnes & Noble left in the world or uh, Borders, but back in the old days when there was, they were more expensive. Somehow Amazon gets deals on everything. And they have like two-day free shipping. That's amazing, right? So Biochem is a book I like. Why is it so thin? How is that so thick? I don't get it. Come on, man. Focus on this. Medical school biochemistry. It's all you need to know for step one, apparently. I, I don't know. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I didn't read the book. Look, it's brand new. You can tell I didn't read it. Does that upset me? Yes. What's the whole point here? Don't make my mistake. You know, for physio, for histo, for the other classes, I knew to use a board review book while I was going through. But for my very first course in medical school, I didn't know that, and I didn't know, and I didn't, and I didn't use this, and so I have to use it by myself. But it's not bad. Um, you get over it, but don't make my mistake. Hopefully you watch this video and you can prevent yourself from making it, or you can learn quickly from wherever you are in the medical school years. That get a review book, stick with it. Um, I got this one because everyone I spoke to said this is the book to get, and Golion's on it, so I trust them. Um, but it's a good book because it's just strictly the actual critical points you need to know for biochem. There is a basic kind of cell stuff, kinetics, uh, Michaelis Mantle, that kind of boring stuff. But the key is okay, so take an example here. Do you need to know all the Krebs cycle? Do you need to know all of the amino acid pathways? No, come on. Did I need to know for this class? Yes, because it was college and they wanted us to take our time up. Um, but do you need to know it for medical school? No, you need to know what's clinically relevant. You need to understand what's important in biochemistry and how it relates to medicine. And that's why it's so thin and that's why it's so just pure high yield. It's a great book to use. I would recommend it. I'm reading it now in my break because I, I, mean, I, I think biochem's fun anyway, so I kind of enjoy reading it. Not everyone, unfortunately, feels that way if you weren't very you know, basic science in undergrad. Um, but it's an important class. Do not brush it off. A lot of people do thinking, oh, it was just an intro class to give us like a refresher on science, and then we'll go back to learning about physio and hisso. No, it's an important class. Do not take it. At, don't brush it off. That's why I went back and later bought this book because I realized, whoops, I made the mistake first here, and I need to. I want to review biochem, and what am I going to do? And see, now I'm in the pickle of the pickle, I don't know. But see, if I had bought this first year and reviewed with the class, I would I would be like, oh, I already got a book that I've annotated and I'm good to go. But I didn't do that for this class. As you can see, I keep hitting myself on this because it's because it's, it's a bad feeling. I'm that's why I make this video. So and the other ones for the other uh, classes, so you don't have to go through this. Because uh, what am I gonna do? Go through all the core notes, this much material again? No way. Read this? Never ever. Um, reference it if you're in the mood, but stick with this. You'll be fine. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you get the point that keep it high yield when it comes to biochem. During the actual course, yes, yeah, study whatever they tell you so you can do well on the exams. But go through your book, make sure you're learning all the high yield material, just like we said for anatomy, just like we said for the histo and the physio. Make sure you're learning all the high yield material, commit it to memory, and learn whatever else they want you to for your classes, and you should do fine. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions, descript uh, comments, leave a comment below, leave a video response, leave a message, I don't care, do whatever you want, I'll figure it out. And um, have fun guys, biochem, I know it can feel like the fifth year of college when you're you know, taking biochem, but it's important, don't brush it off, get rapid review by Golion, he's a trusted source. And as always guys, enjoy your studies.